Hi there, my name is Josh, and I want to show you a few things about section planes in SketchUp. If I open up the large tool set, you can see what that icon looks like for section planes right there. I can also go to Tools, Section Plane, and I'll be initially prompted to give it a name and perhaps a symbol if I'd like. I know that my first section is going to be a floor plan view, so I'm going to type floor plan for the name and one for the symbol. And you'll notice here with uh, when I start to kind of hover around, SketchUp will change the orientation of that SketchUp plane based on where I'm placing the cursor. I'm going to drop this one right on top of the roof here. And you'll notice when I click on that section plane, you can see in the Entity Info panel, there's the name and the symbol that I gave it. Let's also open up the Outliner, Window Outliner. And you can see there is that floor plan there as well. Uh, if I click on this and go to the Move tool, I can move it around just like any geometry in SketchUp. I can also use perhaps the Rotate tool if I wanted to get a little crazy and do uh, a different kind of section cut here. There could be a time where that might be a, a useful thing to do. Uh, for this, In this case though, we're going to go for a nice flat section plane there. And let's take a look at some of our options that we have via the Outliner panel here. If I right click on that section plane, you can see some options there. Uh, same thing if I right click on the section plane itself in the modeling window. The difference here is that in the outliner, I've got two additional options to rename things. So it just depends on what you prefer to do, have the outliner open, or a lot of the uh, abilities to affect the section plane can be obtained via a right click on the section plane in the model. All right, let's cruise down and, and take a look at some of these options. We've got uh, Erase and Hide. If I were to hide a section plane, you can see there that in the model, I can't really click on that section plane anymore, but with the Outliner, what's nice is I actually can see it there, and I can click on it, and SketchUp will show it to me in sort of a hidden geometry fashion there. So the Outliner could be a good way to manage your section planes. Let's uh, unhide that with the right click and let's reverse that cut so you can easily reverse the cut uh, let's take a look at creating a group from slice real quick if I do that and now you can see a group was created down there I'll use the move tool to kind of bring that up into view so what that did was give us a nice grouped line work at the slice point I can double click and take a look and see what's going on there so that could be pretty pretty useful there to get a quick uh, section cut there, get that line work. Let's delete that for now and let's reverse that section cut back to this direction. And what else do we have here? Right click, uh, align view. So I'm going to do this in the modeling window. So just like in SketchUp, if I right click on a face like this, I can align the view. So I'm looking perpendicular at that face. I can do the same with a section plane if I right click. I can align the view, and this was how I started to compose a scene here for a floor plan view. So I click on this scene here, I've already got this set up. Uh, the only difference here was that I had perspective turned off, because we're looking straight down at that floor plan view, and let's go ahead and activate that cut again. So there's a nice floor plan view. Another option we have is to troubleshoot the section fill. So I'm going to change my scene here and let's say that in our model we were actually missing some geometry here so let's first take a look again at this when it's active active cut so there's a nice fill that we're getting with that section cut if we had some geometry missing perhaps this wall we take that away and take a look at our section cut now we're missing some of that fill so we also have an, an option in SketchUp we'll go ahead and activate that again to right click on a section plane and troubleshoot section fill. So we already know that there's obviously a problem here and SketchUp will give us a little indicator of where we might want to look to help fill that section plane, that section uh, section fill. And I can right click and uncheck that option. Let's go back out to this scene. And uh, next thing to look at is our window uh, window styles. So window styles and here you'll see some attributes tied directly directly to sections. So I've got section fill, lines, width. 
I've got color wells for those two. So if I let's activate this cut and we'll go into we're going to be affecting a certain style here. So note that I'm, I'm making changes to a style here. I can go to the edit tab and if I make a change to the fill color, perhaps let's make an obvious change there. And the section lines could also be a different color. And the section line width as well. You could have a really thick line width or perhaps something thin like that. Let's take that back to two or actually three. And we'll go back and color these black again. You can toggle off section planes for a particular style as well, or the cut itself, or the fill if you don't want to see the fill at all. Just be sure to, if you do make a change, let's say go back and make this fill maybe more of a, a gray. Any change I make to that style, I should update the style so it retains that change. Let's also get that wall back. I'm going to undo a few steps here and get this wall to come back. There we go. Uh, there may be a time where you want to show two section cuts at the same time. So this section plane here is not inside a grouper component. It's outside of everything in the model. It's cutting through everything. If I jump inside the group here, I can actually put a section plane inside a group or a component. So in this case, we'll just call this one section two. And we'll just do two for the symbol. And we'll place that right here. And we'll move that along until we get to the spot we want. And if I click outside the group, you can see we can have multiple section planes active at the same time. And that does it for section planes in SketchUp. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.